Hello ladies and gentlemen, Leafy Murdoch here and here to do a video on Beast Children Now why do I have Beef and the Pez in the background? Well because I don't have any rugby games or anything like that and this is the closest thing I can really get to it so I do apologise on that behalf but anyway I want to hear to discuss what rugby is to any people that um, don't watch rugby or never really heard about it and maybe you're not whether you're not you should give this manga a chance so yeah I just put some sports gameplay in the background it's more of a video to listen to or whatever but I do score a nice hat check with it now though so yeah anyway guys let's get started so Beast Children is obviously a rugby manga has been it's currently on chapter 11 in a minute um, can this work as a manga? definitely because like it's the thing is with football, like the one you've seen on the screen, you can barely have any time, any stoppages or anything like that to get any brief explanations or like, I don't know, dialogue or whatever. Because a lot of manga likes a lot of like dialogue and that sort of thing. Anyway, the like, reason why I was interested in it, because um, I've been looking at a lot of sports, um, anime and manga or whatever. Um, we're currently watching Aisha 21, Haikyuu and... Um, Diamond Ace, and that's the volleyball, uh, American football, and baseball, like animes. And I want, I just wanted to like, and, and they're all like, I don't know, not something I'm really used to, but something I am kind of used to anyway. And, and a certain like standard, a certain scheme of things is rugby. I play, I used, I I'm not really a massive rugby, fan, I'm not really a rugby fan at all, or in general. And when I was a kid, I was not very good at it. Because <laughs> in England, we played rugby like for certain amounts of time. I spent a whole term on rugby, actually, um, like in the beginning of the year. Uh, in the beginning of like, uh, I think like just beginning of secondary school and that sort of thing, uh, just playing rugby and like just, because I think it's just more of like a cultural thing possibly and we do have the Six Nations the something called the Six Nations which involves England Scotland Wales uh, Ireland France and Italy and we all compete for this Six Nations trophy and we do have like the um, clubs like the Wasps and Saints and that sort of thing in England as well so yeah um, if you want to basically um, we have stop in rugby there's stoppages and that sort of thing you can't pass forwards and in American football you have the goal thing and like this goal like bar with bars and sort of thing in the mid on the other side of the pitch and after you score a trial which is basically a touchdown we have to actually like jump on the affinity so you can, instead of America in American football you have don't have to like actually touch the um, ground actually score a, tr um, a touchdown but in um, in English rugby or in rugby or whatever, you actually have to like jump on the floor and like score like a touchdown sort of thing. But score and try and then this, and after that you take a penalty. I don't know how that works. Obviously, you have to take a penalty, and you basically get the ball, um or the I don't know the ball, the football ball, um in between the net and between between the things and that sort of thing. Uh, in between the things so you score a goal that way so yeah uh, so there's a lot of stoppages and like a lot of power struggles and that sort of thing and it's not a pretty sport not, it's not it's not like ballet as they like to use the term in wrestling or whatever like it, you will get injured you will get hurt and stuff and you get badly bruised uh, during your course of like you know uh, playing this game so yeah um, it's pretty much like an alternative sport to football like soccer or whatever like the thing you're watching on the screen right now um, it's like that's like that's how I pretty much like say it like it's people who listen like in, in music terms there's people who listen to pop music and stuff and then there's people who listen to metal like metal is pretty much a rugby term I'm just using it as an example by the way a very good example uh, but nonetheless um, and like a lot of girls like to watch rugby players and stuff. It's quite a very masculine sport. You don't really need to be tall or anything like that. You need to, the three main components, you need to hit hard, be strong, 
and yeah you can either do that by being really like big as an overweight but but the thing is like as long as you can run fast and score tries and like tackle people down to the ground that's basically their main just of it um um if you if that sounds interesting enough i don't i can't really remember how like throw-ins and like uh what's it called it um like scruffles or oh, <laughs> scruffles or like holdings like and that sort of thing like work but yeah it's pre- um this pretty much an english sport we started in warwickshire england in 1845 and it started as a rugby school so yeah and um, that's pretty much how what rugby is and stuff um so yeah like i said there's a lot of stoppages and stuff so and a lot of background and stuff and this kid is basically small and like i said like you don't re- like i remember back in the day like all these kids and stuff when we were kids and playing rugby you didn't have to be like the tallest guy or have you not it's pretty well the first sport so yeah in that aspect and yeah so basically the main antagonist of the story is a short guy and like I said, football is pretty much the main sport, or in England anyway. It's like it's like basing off in England and that sort of thing. As we see in one of the panels, we see a like a rugby sign kicked down, but then there says football um, in the background and that sort of thing. So yeah, um, it's a pretty good story. Um, it's not the first first chapter. The way the panels are done, I'm not not really to my liking, Tonsia, but the art looks good. The, the decent anyway I think good so I guess 6 out of 10 or maybe a 7 I think for a weekly show and jump it's pretty decent art and you can pretty much tell like you know the author knows what he's talking about and it seems like to be a very you know uh, he seems to like know what he's talking about and like it's pretty much like how much he loves the series and the, pretty much the main reason why he wants to do it is because he jumped in accidentally and he got excited uh, um, when a, when somebody was saying like oh how can anyone how can they collide with each other and like beat each other up basically and that's the whole point and that's the whole fun of rugby and the, and the dude's like an all my type figure and he's like a big buff dude with like a scar across his face and that sort of thing <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much taking in that angle of things. And then him going against the guy at the end and like trying to catch him and try and tackle him down and then finally doing it and then getting down and getting him down and then yeah, just him being knocked down to the ground and he's really happy and he's all bloody and stuff. Really shows the brutality in the sport of rugby, do you know what I mean? And yeah. Overall, I really hope this, I don't know, really depresses me because, I don't know, I've been looking at a few things, like, I know if people have caught on to it yet, but hopefully, if I, hopefully, I might start, um, if it's, if I feel like it's good, I might talk about it on my channel more. I think I know what kind of direction I want to go in, I might want to do sports, anime and stuff, a bit more manga in the future, so yeah, um, stay tuned for that, if you care. Anyway guys, that'd be it today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please check this big child out for yourself if this sounds appealing to you. So anyway, yeah, see you next time. Love you all. Peace.